Yo, what is up boys? The 20 win challenge has just ended and my best result was 18 wins, so it's time to finally learn to play this game. So today we will be playing finally a skilled deck. I know nobody expects me playing skilled decks, but I guess the day has come. So today we will be playing Egolem with Evo Barbs and I don't know why I copied the deck. I got used to copying decks for the 20 win challenge, but yeah. We are kind of low on rating. I haven't played ladder in the past few days because I was playing the 20 win challenge for 16 hours a day, more or less, instead of playing ladder or doing anything else that could be defined as useful in life. Uh, so yeah, back on to ladder. Um, almost nobody's playing this deck I'm playing right now because it's just kind of too difficult to play. Uh, most people just don't really know what to do and I'm also finding it difficult to know how to start this game, like, should I play first healer and then Egolem in front, or Egolem and healer from the back? Like, those are questions that are pretty difficult to answer. Like, I never seen Mohamed Light play Egolem. If you saw him play it, I don't know, you're probably lying. I've never seen it, and there must be a reason. There must be a reason, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, Oh my god, e Golem, uh, I mean, e drag clutching up here, not crossing the bridge. Uh, I'm very happy about um, the fact that I'm playing against a level 14 Little Prince. Uh, that's always fun. Looks like an e giant deck, to be honest. Not sure if that's what it is. Let me zap here. He actually goes for the ability. Really happy about that as well. And yeah, he's probably playing E Giant, so here we go. That's an E Giant if I've ever seen one. Uh, let me go for Electro Dragon in the same lane. He will most likely play Bowler there, which is pretty annoying. But yeah, it's rough. Breaking through against a Bowler with Barbarians is, I mean, with, with Egolem, is never fun because it's like one of the best counters probably. It's gonna counter everything here on the right without too many issues. Idrak at least take care of the archers. That's great. Uh, I think that's the perfect opportunity to go in actually. Um, let me go for E Golem there. Heal it up. Um, go for E Drag. Rage. He has lightning. I forgot about this small detail. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to win this one. Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, the deck is just a little too skilled for me. It's not my fault. It's difficult to win with such skilled decks. Uh, let me go for healer here. Barbarian's late. Not sure about that lightning. Really, they, they, I just don't get it, to be honest. Spell it out. No, it still came. <laughs> no, I mean, that's not what I meant. That's not what I wanted to say. It didn't come anyway. Shut up. Shut up. Let me go for e drag. He will most likely light uh, lightning again. Here we go. Oh, that lightning was actually decent because archers took care of my barbs. I'm not having fun. Why do I have to play against the giant man? <laughs> Out of all the matchups, I haven't played ladder in 10 years. I mean, it was just five days, but it felt like 10 years, okay? And I got the most <laughs> difficult matchup of them all. How am I supposed to win against the giant <laughs> with fucking lightning as well? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right, we are in the second game against you log bait, and that's a good question I would love to ask you. Do you log bait, guys? Like, do you ever think about this? Like, you log bait or you not? You, you don't log bait or you log bait? But my opponent is definitely log bait, so that's fun. Hopefully, he doesn't have rocket. Uh, that wouldn't be fun. And at least we have three spells, so we should be pretty good at defending whatever he does. If he has Inferno Tower, that would also not be that big of a deal because I wish I killed that one Spear Goblin. I will just go for a very 
like okay um uh, an excessive defense i would call it there was no need of playing all of that but who cares arrow the princess just so he has to commit something else for the night which the knight dies indeed so that's great um yeah, just, I'm just gonna chill, wait for him to overcommit somewhere. He's gonna do it sooner or later. Go for healer here. I want to see if he has rocket or fireball. If he has fireball, uh, I think that's GG. I'm gonna go like this. Just avoid taking any damage. Play really, really passive. That's how you play this deck, guys. Uh, I know I said it's a very difficult deck to play, but uh i'm kind of a pro i know i know i didn't get 20 wins yes but uh i didn't even play these decks to be honest i just didn't want to humiliate my opponents too much i have to arrow here is the princess on the tower no it's not uh my opponent is laughing at me he's probably like ashamed of, him of himself for losing against such a skilled deck i mean i get it I get it. I don't have anything against him. Like, uh, that's something that a lot of you log bait people have in common. That's something that is not that big of a deal. If they drag would shoot, that would be great. I will go for Eagolem. Okay, so he has Inter Inferno Tower indeed. Just go for this, this. Uh, is he gonna rocket that? Okay, he's back to Evil Knight. That's something I'm a huge fan of, actually. Please, Princess, so I can arrow it. Thank you. Like, he's actually listening to me, man. So nice of him. Rage. Please, Night Witch. Please. Please. It didn't work, guys. I don't know if it's in rocket range. I don't know how much rocket does. Fuck. All right, next game. Uh, I swear this time we are gonna win. We just gotta stop facing hard counters. This deck is just... Wait, I mean, it's not even hard counters. This deck is just too difficult to play. How am I supposed to win using this hardest deck in the game? I'm still learning, okay? I, I said it. I will learn. It's just the start of my journey right now. I will give it time and slowly but surely I will become the greatest Eagle and player and actually be able to compete. Why didn't that little prince just take one step just to reset his attack? Fuck you. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I will train, I will become a better player and will get 20 wins next year after I have will after I have trained for 365 days playing the strongest deck in the game. Please stop it. Why am I getting bullied? I'm getting bullied. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, that's I, I wish the e track didn't go in front. That would ha that would that would be great. What do we do here? Do I just kite or something? Okay. <sighs> He's just gonna pop the ability. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> I'm getting bullied by little prince. <laughs> I went from crying in the 20 win challenge to crying in ladder because I cannot win against these people. <sighs> so much pain, man. Is he gonna... Okay, I mean, does it look like I care? No, because I actually do not. If you are interested. No way he's defending that. Okay. Finally, we got something done. And just go. No, 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 no. Whatever you do, don't defend, man. 
whatever you want to do, don't defend. Just don't worry. You don't have to worry about defending. Just let, let the tower go. You don't need your tower. You don't need it. Just let it go. You need to learn to let go in life. That's life here for you. You need to learn to let go. Let go. Sh stop it. Stop it. Shush. Okay. Okay. We are in a very good spot, I would say. Go for Eagolem. Go for Healer behind. And go for Night Witch. Zap, 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 zap. Zap. Rage. Rage, please. Yes. Yes, we got it. Oh, yeah, man. That's what outskilling your opponent means. You saw it right there. He just had nothing on me right there. He just got destroyed by the skill overflowing everywhere. That was crazy. That was the, the most incredible showcase of skill in 2023. And the world finals have not started yet. I actually qualified for world finals, but I had like... They didn't allow me to play. I think there is some contractual bullshit. They need to sit the same person to win every year or some other crap. Um, I can't really do anything about it. And it's rough. I mean, they just want the same person to win for some reason. I think it's like, oh yeah, the Prince of Egypt and other crap like that. So it's rough. Uh, I wish I could play. If I... If I did play, I would just destroy everyone and I would finally max out my little prince, but yeah, that's how it goes. It's rough. Um, I will just arrow there and zap. I don't know if the, zaps, zaps, if the zap is the play there. I guess it is. The little prince died, the healer gets on tower. I will go for a very skillful play in the other lane something that has never been done before because it's actually a very risky play and needs to be done at the perfect timing if you mess it up like it's over here i'm gonna play a very skilled electro dragon to reset the sparky if you guys didn't know uh, the e-drag actually can reset the sparky it's a very uh, skillful play once again um, i decided to let that sparky connect there because um Actually, you know, when the Egolem dies, it splits into two, so I purpose purposefully let him die so that he could get transformed into stuff. And I had two, and everyone knows that two is better than one, so that's why I had two of them there. Now I'm pushing on the right side because everyone knows that changing lanes confuses your opponents and you win because of that. I will go for barbs on the bridge, not a good play at all, but again, you confuse your opponent, that's what you do, basically, that's what the game revolves around, confusing your opponent enough till the point they give up. Just go for this, just rage here, that knight on the other lane is scary, I don't know how much, please don't take my tower, just don't take my tower. It got way too close to taking it. Not a fan. Please go, 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 we golem. Go, 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 go. Another showcase, big showcase of skill on my part. As you can see, already playing four games. We lost the first two, but we quickly learned how to play the deck. And that's just the start of a long journey of me becoming the pro player with the most skilled deck in the game. Make sure to stick around to see more very skilled gameplay by X Dragon 7. If you have any decks you would want me to try to play, to give my opinion on, because my opinion has a lot of value. Like, everyone would love to hear something from X Dragon 7. Like, damn, I would want to hear something from him. And yeah, have a great day. Bye bye.